Hi, good afternoon. I've got about eight minutes to go through uh, a summary of the meeting this morning and the plans for next year. Uh, I just want to start off with a comment that I heard in Moscow last week from a very bright young chap at Post at the Embassy. And it was about the structure of MI MIFC. And he said, this is the only way it could work because Russia works in structures and authority comes from the top down. And that's so very true. And I think that's why we have got a good working format at the moment. So what I want to talk about, really, is break it down to three points. Talk about what the format is and how it's working, uh, and then talk about what we're going to do next year. Because those of you who haven't got a multi-entry business visa for Russia, you might want to apply, because there's a lot going on. So just a quick start. Look, there's, there's seven streams we're going to talk about. But I know it's almost lunch, and it's been a long morning. So we just talk about the headlines to start with and the takeaways. From the Russian side, because it's always been this way. We say we want to cover seven things in the Russian state, just do two. So the two things that we're going to concentrate on are regulation, the first one. And so the first one is, uh, that came out this morning is the Russian system is, is actually not too dissimilar to, to our own, but basically at the moment is looking at doing the following things through in three ways. Either keeping the federal financial market services separate and uh, basically putting a bigger budget in for that and more human capital. Or secondly, taking it into the CBR and staying either fully in, uh, staying independent under the C CBR, the central bank umbrella, or thirdly, being fully integrated. And they'd love to know our views on that. So accordingly, uh, next January, and Stuart Lawson is here. Stuart Lawson's the deputy chair of the Russia group. He, he's my assistant. Stuart Lawson's been in Russia for many, many years, formerly the country head of HSBC and many banks. For this role, though, he's my assistant. So Stuart will <laughs> explain what, how we're going to follow that up next year with some presentations and stuff in Moscow. Uh, the second one, the takeaway, is about long-term money. It's the idea to try and bring the real economy and the financial economy together. Because what's happening, like here, the two have been running in parallel and not necessarily crossing over. Russian banks have got plenty of cash, people need plenty of cash, and the two haven't really come together. So we're going to work on that in a second. But let me quickly just go through the, uh, the streams that, and, and how they work so far. The OTC derivative stream uh, basically predated the, the City UK uh, MIFC liaison group, but it's been going for a long while, and, and everything that's been asked for has been delivered. So first of all, there's changes to the statute book, Article 1062, definition of derivatives, definition of use of master agreements, a clearing and settlement bill, an unorganized trading bill, development of a, nat a national depository, which was the, uh, sorry, national repository. That was the most important thing, to have a trade repository for certain instruments so that we would then be able to get a legal opinion for netting in the event of the fall. That opened up last week, albeit for two products, foreign exchange forwards uh, and for overnight repo. It's tremendous success that's happened. It's down to, uh, to the people at my six and NST. In under a year, they've done that, led by Eddie Astani. Eddie's like Pele, the footballer. You don't need to use his surname because everyone knows he's Eddie. The cable it's developed, and that's in place. Next stage then, and we've got some lawyers here with us, is when will we have a legal opinion on the enforceability of that? Uh, ISDA told us last night that they've got the first draft. That'll be out by Christmas. So we think it's somewhere between our Christmas and the Russian Christmas, we'll have a legal opinion on the enforceability of the RISDA and ISDA documents in the event of default uh, for the series of products that are in the NSD. And as the NSD adds more products, so more uh, opinions will come out from that. That's very good news. If you compare that to North America, South America, Europe, Asia, or Pluto, in terms of the growth markets, it's the only growth market that's got there. So uh, for, for that, we're, we're ever uh, grateful. If Axel were here today from uh, EBRD, he'd say, ah, but what's the point of doing all that if the judges don't understand how to use it? So there's been some training of judges uh, going on in Moscow between EBRD and Prime F, and, and that's really worked, so, uh, worked very well so far. Into next year, we're going to talk about cross-border repositories and cross-border central clearing. On to securities, Robert Barnes's group. Now, the security stream is probably, that, that's probably the jewel in the crown because a lot of things had to be done and lots of things have been done very, very well together at every, every level, from the top level down to the real minute. Uh, clearly, the uh, merger between RTS and MySex to form the Moscow Exchange is a big development. The forming of one national security depository, one CSD, the NSD, is in place now. That's a great development. Uh, moving towards T plus 2 from where we are at the moment is T plus 0 uh, into next year. It'll be fantastic. There's a really good working group, group involved in this, and it's uh, from a lot of people from continental Europe, from Russia and ourselves. 
uh, have got together. It's called the ICC, and that's, that meant recently it's a real detail thing. So get on board that one if you can. That's actually, we've come to the, almost the end of this now, and that's into certain things like corporate actions, account structures, tax, tax treatment of account structures, and so forth. So it's getting there. Uh, as we get through the spring and summer next year, all those things that we've been working on securities uh, front will, will be in place. Again, unparalleled in the growth markets of the rest of the world. Education, training, and qualifications. I think Russia's like Britain. There's a real thirst for knowledge. And we've been going in parallel on this. For instance, if you sit the my six exams, they're just like the FSA exams. You, you can sit them in English and Russian, but they're exactly the same exam. Uh, there's an attempt here to try and bring the two sides together on education at that level, in, uh, involving, uh, if you will, the regulatory level, then higher up than that, sort of securities institute site levels, then the universities and so forth. That is chaired by, uh, on the Russian side, Oleg Preksin. Again, just known as Oleg. He's here. He's fantastic. Oleg will be a Sherpa, one of the Sherpas, for B20 next year. As you know, G20 is already in Russia, started in November. Uh, and in parallel to that will be Business 20, uh, where there will be a whole series of meetings. He said before, see you in Davos. So any of you guys that go to Davos, see him in Davos. Astana and St. Petersburg Economic Forum. There'll be a whole series of things coming out from this. Our side is George Littlejohn, who's, who's got a real fervor for this and real dream for this. Uh, and it will be open, it'll be comp there'll be open competition between the universities here and the universities there of how diplomas, for instance, will be awarded between the two universities. Uh, on to something most important. When uh, I first met Nikolai, the conversation we had uh, was, Mr. Kosov, was about marketing. Russia's biggest problem is marketing, marketing, marketing. And so uh, David Burnside from New Century Media has put together a very detailed proposal uh, which sits in Moscow now waiting for uh, buy-in, essentially, different levels of government and so forth. We're hoping that we'll come out of that. We will be able to push forward the image of Moscow. Some of you probably saw the article in the Times yesterday, which is a good balanced article. We're going to accentuate, uh, accentuate the uh, positive. Nikolai said in the last meeting, some of the negative points that are in the press are beyond our capabilities. It's not like the old days, is it? You know, they can, people can say whatever they want and we can't do much about it. So we're going to accentuate the positives accordingly, like BP. New Century Media has been an account, uh, has had BP as an account, and that's worked fabulously well. Uh, by the summer, we're going to put out some real uh, results from this uh, MIFC group and see how it's worked. On to the last couple, uh, alternative dispute resolution. That was something we really wanted to develop. Uh, great paper has been written. It's much more complicated than we thought it would be. It will work, it's on the path, but it's at the earlier stages than the final stages of the path on that one. And in pub public-private partnerships, this is, you know, as Russia develops in terms of, obviously, Sochi and the, and the Football World Cup, and developing the infrastructure of, of Russia, uh, we're hoping that our institutions here will work with the institutions there. We were very lucky to have uh, Deputy Mayor Shiranov come over to, Moscow, to London just recently, met with the Corporation of London, some real in-depth conversations are going on there. So quickly in summary, what, what MIFC is all about is just one thing. It's pipes. It's putting the pipes together from the, the people that move and shake in Russia and over here. And as, uh, as Roger Gifford said, we've got there's about 300 individuals be, been involved in this. And there's probably many, many more people one way or the other that should get involved in this. And as time goes on, some of these streams will close down and others will open up. Going on to the one that's, for now, for us, one of the most important ones, and that's going to be long-term money. Again, you're going to need visas for this one. We were offered by Sergei Vasiliev from uh, uh, Venezhekanon Bank. He said that what Russia pension reform is, uh, <laughs> is one of the most important things in Russia at the moment. And so into next year, we will have uh, three presentations, three seminars, maybe all rolled in together, maybe separately, one on insurance, one on mutual funds, and one on pension funds. Uh, I'm sure some of your institutions will help from the Russian side to organize that, but that will be uh, people from here, people from there, trying to develop what is an infant market in that one there, in, in Russia. Let me just finish off some numbers as well. Robert Barnes, who is you know, the chairman of this, the uh, securities group, is always saying that basically uh, how the great volumes are going on the market. Uh, I'm sorry to say it's your shares in our market, but they represent 20%, 20% of the market here. In foreign exchange, in my old firm, ICAP, EBS, uh, we, it was our seventh most important currency, trading $3 billion a day, which is huge. My new firm, and now I've moved to Chicago Mercantile Exchange, it's our eighth to ninth most important. It's way before the, uh, the uh, Ruimbi. It's way ahead of uh, 
the rupee. It's way ahead of many other currencies as well. So what we have, we have the pipes. The pipes are open. People can come back and forth. Institutions can come back and forth, but business is going on. So the real thing in the, in the end will be how this is monetized. Now, let me just give you a couple of parallel things. We're never part of this. Uh, when we set this thing up, we, we said, go to Moscow, go to see Eddie, go to see the people at MySix, go to see the people at Central Bank uh, Finance. Honestly, it's the last point. Euroclear, this was not part of the same thing, came to London, they had no idea what they were doing, followed the same format. Euroclear now will open accounts at the NSD uh, to be able to settle Euroclear bonds through the multi-currency account, delivery versus payment, real-time gross settlement, for Russian corporate, municipal, and government bonds. That is a winner. If you've got anyone you know who's looking for a job, get to learn Russian, get involved in the Russian bond market, because that's the story for next year. It's the international trading of Russian bonds, uh, Settling either domestic, certainly settling domestically either directly at the NSD or through Euroclear. Simultaneously, right now, I've got old colleagues who are in Moscow, and the same thing's going on about repo. Master agreements uh, under uh, global master repurchase agreement under ICMA are doing exactly the same thing. So our format has been copy-pasted. There's nothing better than someone else to follow what you're doing. I think it's really working very well. There's too many people to thank here for doing such a great job, and probably Roger will do that anyhow. But... Uh, it's been a great journey so far. We have come a long way, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next year in Moscow, hosted by Stuart for most of the events uh, for a whole series of things. Thank you very much.